Hey, this is Nicolette Moore from NicoletteMoore.com. I wanted to shoot a really quick video just to kind of show you the process of finding a good group to connect with on Facebook. You know, there's all sorts of different reasons to be on Facebook. Um, you know, some people are on Facebook to just keep in touch with uh, family and friends. But there's a group of us, you know, there's a growing movement of network marketers that are using the internet to be able to build their business. Because now we have, you know, the world at our fingertips. So why not take advantage of it and grow a, glo a, gro a global business? You still have to handle it delicately. You can't just, just like in life, whenever you talk to people, the only thing that you're going to talk about is your business. Well, you're going to repel people. People, Nobody wants to hear you just talk about your business, how awesome your company is, how, you know, these benefits and blah, blah, blah. I mean, that's what they hear, blah, blah, blah. So you have to build rapport. You have to, um, you know, create connections. And so that's what you want to do whenever you're online. So I'm just going to show you, kind of walk you through um, on Facebook. This is really Facebook specific because Twitter is different. Instagram, Instagram's kind of the same. You still want to, you know, you still can connect with people on Instagram, but we're just going to talk about Facebook here and how to find good Facebook groups that will lead you to some good quality connections. And what you do with it is up to you. All right, so here's my home page. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to press my home button, which will lead us to, you know, my news thread and everything. And so you can see I'm a part of a lot of groups. Um, I think I'm a, a part of well over uh, almost 300 groups by now. Um, so I do not use, they're not all good quality groups, um, but they serve a purpose for me. Okay, you will find the area for groups on your homepage, and you're going to go to discover groups. So click that, and you're going to already have some kind of, these are like suggestions based on your behaviors, what you have exhibited uh, interest in. So right here, it's showing me some groups that um, some of my friends are a part of and some local groups. So it depends on what the purpose is of why I'm finding a group. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with saying, I am, I'm a network marketer and I wanna find people that I can connect with to hopefully be able to introduce my opportunity and maybe have somebody who will be a customer or have somebody who will be a business builder with me. So how do I do that? Well, let's go um, right here. Now, depending on what your 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 situation is like, you may not have a lot of friends that are out there joining groups and networking online. So you might not have very good solid recommendations. So um, I'm just gonna say I like. I'm just gonna say I like. I'm parent. I'm a parent. So I like parenting. Well, right here I've got. Um, it says discover. It has all these different topics, right? So if I'm just gonna avoid, you know, just not even looking at anything that's down here, I'm just gonna go right here to parenting. Let's go, let's click this. Okay, so now there's all sorts of, there's top suggestions, um, there's local, so they know I'm in the San Antonio area, so they're gonna have all these sanitary, uh, San Antonio area um, uh, people, or sorry, San Antonio area groups. Well, okay. I, whenever I have my babies, I wear them. I do like the little Moby wraps and I keep them as close to me as possible. So I would love to be a part of a group like this. So I'll just join it. I can go there too and I can check it out. So here in the description, it'll say kind of what it's about. And right now it's a pending request. So I can't actually see what their thread is like. Um, so once I get approved, I'll just have to go in and see what it's about. But I'm pretty sure that this group is not going to be full of spam or junk. You know, I'll probably be able to go in, see some really cool, compelling content, um, comment on people's threads, and be able to start relation or start conversations with people. Okay, so let's go back. Um, let's go to. Okay. This looks fun. Mighty Mompreneurs. Okay. So this is um, 856 members. Um, there are some different ideas of the amount of people that you want in a group, but it just depends on your purpose. What is your purpose for joining these groups? 
So, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, join them, wait for an admin. Um, right here, I can see their description. You know, so they, they talk about everything that they are a part of, what they do every, every day of the week, uh, and then they give some rules. And it says, don't be that icky salesperson that just posts and bails her offers left and right. Get to know the moms in this community. No spam. See, look, this is a cool group. Mighty Mompreneurs, so they know that they're mothers. They know that they are, uh, they are in business um, for themselves. As an entrepreneur, you work for yourself or you have something going for yourself. So, um, so here they say, play nice, you know, be uplifting, no mean mommies, support and connect, build relationships, provide lots of value and engagement before promoing your biz or your offer. So they're saying, hey, you can share it, you can talk, but just like there is a rule for whenever you're sending out emails to your email list or even whenever you're talking on your Facebook page, you really need to have so much more content and value than talking about your business. Don't just talk about your business or talk about your promotions or talk about your products that you want to sell. Don't do that. That's called repulsion marketing, okay? It's, a, it's an ugly term because it's an ugly concept. Nobody's going to go to your page and be thrilled to just see product, 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 business opportunity, business opportunity. Nobody's on Facebook to see that. So just be really considerate whenever you're posting, post about your family, post inspirational quotes. Um, you know, engage with people, ask questions, um, be interested instead of interesting. So, you know, all these things that we can all do better with. Um, so this seems like a very awesome group that I would love to be a part of. They're not into being, um, you know, just blasting your business opportunities. They're not into spam. Um, they're okay with you posting just as long as you're not being icky and you're not being spammy. Um, and then have fun. So this is an awesome group. So for those of you who are watching this, Mighty Mompreneurs, awesome group. Seems really like high quality. So this is what I would consider is a, a really good quality group and some you know a group that you can go in now you have access to 856 members they you know are probably pretty active they've got themes for every day of the week um, so there's different content that's going to come out every day so it's probably fun and if you're doing like facebook lives or you're trying to think of your own content this seems like it's probably a really good spot to be able to come and say hey probably a good spot to come and say, hey, I want to, um, I want to find out, you know, what is Mighty Mompreneurs doing on Monday? Kind of look at the content and then you can take that content and you can digest it, process it, figure it out for yourself. And then you go and um, talk about it on your Facebook Live. And then you're providing, uh, it's called Invest, Learn and Teach, right? So you invest your time to come in here, check out the content, process it, Then, so you're learning it, you're investing your time, you're learning the content, you're, you're processing it in your brain, and then you go and teach it on your Facebook wall. So you're now the teacher, you know? And so the student becomes the teacher, and now you're providing content and you're providing value to people, which attracts people to you. This is an excellent example of a really cool group that you'd wanna be a part of. Okay, so let's do one more. Um, oh, I saw a photography group. San Antonio Photography Moms. Look at that. Uh, independent people, creative, sounds like the kind of people I would love to be a part of. Let's check out the group. San Antonio Photography Moms, place to learn and share, get excited about photography. Um, and really, this is a group not run by professional photographers. It's just meant to be a source of fun. Um, so, a great little group. So this would be an awesome group to just go to build relationships. I like photography. I own a photo booth company. Um, I live in San Antonio, so I've got a lot in common with these ladies. And so I can go and I can start building relationships with them. And I can start, you know, just talking to them, getting, um, kind of finding out, finding new friends. I'm finding new friends 
and they will, you know, find out about me. I'll find out about them. We'll be able to actually connect. We'll actually be able to connect um, physically. Um, so this is a great group. So I'm going to go ahead and join. There are some groups that you can just join and you get in right away. Um, most of those groups it's not it's not a general statement you can't say just because you join something and all of a sudden you're in makes it a bad group it's just kind of hit or miss it just depends on who put the group together and what the admins decided to do as far as uh, new members coming in so you just saw it I just joined three new groups and the three new groups seem to be pretty good quality groups where now I can go and I can reach out I can make new friends new connections build rapport with more people, which is going to grow my audience, which is going to be able to um, help foster a potential business partnership in the future. So that is a really quick tutorial on just how to find a good group on Facebook to connect with. Um, just make sure that you follow the rules whenever you join these groups and make sure you're not spammy or, you know, posting too much about your business opportunity. People want to know about you. Yes, your business opportunity is a part of your life and talk about that. But don't let it, don't only talk about that. Don't let your business opportunity, your products or your services be the only thing that leads the conversations because people will be bored with that pretty quickly. Um, so don't be self-motivated. Definitely go in to build um, engaging relationships with people and genuinely care about the people that you're talking to. You'll be surprised at what can come out of these relationships. I hope this provides a lot of valuable content for you and you know, food for thought. Now you have a strategy to go in um, make some new friends on Facebook. I would love for you to comment below and let me know the, you know, what you got out of this video, um, your biggest takeaway, and what you're gonna do to implement these strategies. See you later. Nickelemore.com. Yeah. La. You know she got you, yeah, when it comes to the lead, she gonna lead you straight to the lead generation, it's what it is all about, recruiting all the prospects, yeah, that's what a shot, she help you with the coaching, you know that she give you the potion, so you could go and move it through the ocean, cause she there for you, she really cares, she wanna help you grow, that's why she there, so if you wanna get more, you wanna see this watch in store, nickelemore.com, get it y'all.